Hey guys, what's up and welcome to Zero Reviews Tech and I've got a pretty awesome laptop here, the Chewy Lapbook Air. This laptop obviously wants to make its mark in the thin and light ultrabook market, but is it good enough to do so? While the laptop itself doesn't have that many flaws, Chewy has done a great job in pretty much all aspects, but there is one thing that we will talk about later and that is the price. But first, let me show you what kind of laptop Chewy has created. So the best thing about this laptop is the build quality. The laptop looks and feels absolutely stunning even though it looks a lot like a MacBook. The body is made up of matte gray metal with shiny chrome chamfered edges and there is a light up Chewy logo on the front of the laptop. Some people might laugh at the Chewy logo, but it's still a beautiful laptop nonetheless. And believe it or not, this laptop gets even better. It has two USB 3 ports, a headphone jack, full size HDMI, and a micro SD card slot. The laptop hinge is very stiff, you need two hands to open it, and when you do you see bezels, not crazy big or ugly, but not super small either. I was expecting small bezels since Chewy has proved that they can do it on the Lapbook 14.1, but not here. The keyboard is not bad, feedback is slightly spongy and not crisp, but still okay. Keys are large, travel is good, and there is a backlight also, but the backlight is very dim, but it's good enough for dark places. One thing though, the backlighting looks kind of uneven. The trackpad here is big, accurate, but kind of sticky. So sure, Chewy did a great job with the trackpad software, it's accurate, it's precise, and multi-finger gestures like two-finger scrolling is actually pretty good even in Chrome, but dude, the trackpad is so sticky. Your finger will stick like crazy if you slide your finger across, and I highly recommend you wipe it down with a cloth, as it helps to wear down the coating a little bit so it is a bit less sticky. Moving on to the display, we have a nice 1080p glossy display that looks very pleasant. Everything looks great on the screen, nice colors, good saturation, crisp and clear text. A good screen overall for pretty much everything. Except for the brightness, it's about 250 nits which is nowhere close to enough for outdoor use. You are limited to indoors only. Audio quality here is not as bad as I was expecting. Traditionally, Chewy hasn't had the greatest speakers. Here it's improved in terms of audio clarity and treble. Music sounds okay, but it is lacking in bass, especially explosions when watching movie and audio volume isn't the highest either. There also is a very slight buzz when you plug in headphones to the 3.5mm jack, but it's not noticeable when you're playing music or watching TV. Battery life here is just average, I got about 6 hours of Chrome web browsing or about 8 hours with Edge, and if you do heavy stuff like gaming or video editing, battery obviously takes a nosedive. In terms of performance, we have a SanDisk eMMC in this laptop, definitely not the fastest eMMC drive out there, I believe Samsung's have one of the fastest ones, but it's average here. There's 8 gigs of RAM so multitasking is pretty easy, but honestly 8 gigs is overkill, even 4 is okay since your bottleneck will most likely be your eMMC speeds or the CPU and not the RAM. Like stuff like Chrome and Word run pretty well, they too take a tad longer to open than usual but nothing too crazy. Heavier stuff like Photoshop or video editing is possible but you can only edit small pics and low res videos otherwise it starts lagging out hard. Gaming is about the same as other Apollo Lake devices, difficult if you go hardcore but if you can play light games like Stardew Valley, games like Civ 6 do not run well at 1080p, you gotta bump it down to 720p to get 30fps. This laptop always gets warmer on the left side than the right side, but it never overheats and throttles back. I get some decent Wi-Fi speed from the dual band Wi-Fi card, but it's actually slightly slower than what I've seen with other laptops with similar cards, but nothing too great. Bluetooth range here is actually pretty good, about 2-3 meters longer than what my Xiaomi phone gets. So let's conclude, this is the best Apollo Lake laptop I've tested so far, the most balanced out of all of them. In terms of speed, the Civil Top Air and the Voyo VBook V3 still have the slight edge because they use an SSD instead of an eMMC, which is still the main bottleneck here. But this thing has awesome build quality, great screen, the backlit keyboard, connectivity ports like crazy, but the biggest deal breaker here is the price. It starts at 380 US dollars, which is honestly a little bit crazy. It's on sale at 350 now, which is more acceptable, but still pretty high. 
At these prices, I highly recommend either the Chewy Lapbook 14.1 or the Jumper EasyBook Pro, both good laptops but at lower prices. But if this is on sale below 300 bucks, I do recommend this laptop very highly as it is a great laptop from Chewy. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Likes and subs would be appreciated. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.